There's always a big question about who are the top 10 greatest male WWE superstars of all time. Top 10 lists can always be controversial, man. Everybody has different tastes. Everybody has different opinions about who could be in the top 10 of many different things. Well, I'm going to share with you all who my top 10 is right here. Here goes my top 10 greatest WWE superstars of all time in no particular order. I'm going to start with Hulk Hogan, man. Whether people like him or not, his impact and importance on the business is just too impactful to leave him off the list. Like, I'm not a big fan of Hulk Hogan, just like many others, but Hulk Hogan's contribute to WWE helped revolution and take it to heights that it needed to be, man. Like Hulk Hogan has so many important, so many revolutionary moments in the company's history that will live on for generations. Shawn Michaels would definitely make the list to me, just like many others. Shawn Michaels is the greatest interim performer of all time. Shawn Michaels is so good, in my opinion, he could have a five-star match with the broomstick. Like that's how great Shawn Michaels was back in his day. First superstar to become the Triple Crown Champion in WWE as well, which means he was the first superstar to win all the major titles during his time. Shawn Michaels was truly him, man. Like he's a once in a lifetime talent. The Undertaker would definitely be on my list. I think not only he's the greatest character in WWE history, I think he's the greatest character of all time in professional wrestling. Mainly because at one point, when we all started watching, doesn't matter what time, at one point we all believed The Undertaker was really the character. Like we all believed he was that character. They were calling him the dead man and everything and it sounds crazy, but we all believed that he wasn't human. We believed that he was like half zombie or something, man. Like we didn't know, like Undertaker seemed very mysterious. Like he fully had us believing that he had some type of superpower or something. Like we fully believed The Undertaker was The Undertaker. We didn't believe that he was a human being, which sounds crazy. He played that character to the T, played it extremely well. His longevity is unmatched as well, man. Like, Undertaker is one of the best of all time, no doubt. I most definitely would have The Rock in my top 10. The Rock, to me, has zero flaws in his game. And what I mean by that, The Rock can literally do anything in the wrestling business. He has charisma, he's entertaining, he can cut promos, he can put on good matches, he can make you love him, he can make you hate him. The Rock literally can do everything. And I mean everything. To me, The Rock embodies what a professional wrestler should be because The Rock can literally do anything. He's that great. Stone Cold Steve Austin definitely is on the list without a doubt, man. The most important superstar of the biggest era in WWE, the Attitude Era, man. Stone Cold Steve Austin helped save WWE through its darkest times to help win the Money Night Wars. Stone Cold Steve Austin, the most popular and biggest draw in the WWE's history. Stone Cold Steve Austin definitely is in the top 10. Stone Cold Steve Austin is on the Mount Rushmore of WWE. Yeah, like, let's be honest. Like, Stone Cold Steve Austin, like, his peak wasn't too long because of injuries, but during that time, his popularity is still unmatched to this day. John Cena would definitely be on my list, mainly because not only he was great during his prime, but John Cena did something to me that will probably never ever be done again because it's so freaking hard. I don't think people can even really fathom how hard it was. When John Cena was the face of the WWE, when I say face, I'm talking about the marquee guy. The guy, you know, the company is labeling as their top guy. Not everybody's going to have the title of the face of the WWE. You can still be a legend in WWE, but not everybody's going to have the title of the face of the WWE. John Cena was the face of the WWE for about 10 years. And during that time frame, he managed to stay the exact same character that he was during that time. And sometimes wrestling is all about reinventing yourself, right? Doing something different to get the crowd more invested into you, changing something up. We've seen a lot of the greats change up their characters throughout time. But during that 10 years... John Cena never once changed who he was, no matter how many times people booed him out of buildings and said they wanted a heel turn and they were tired of John Cena. Managed to stay the same character throughout that time, but always managed to be the biggest star, the biggest draw, and the most relevant superstar in the company. That will probably never ever be done again. Triple H definitely makes the top 10, man. One of the greatest WWE superstars of all time. One of the best heels WWE's ever seen, man. Multiple time WrestleMania main eventer, multiple time world champion. And not even just from a superstar perspective, but let's look at the business side. There was a point in time when Raw and SmackDown, the main roster booking was so atrocious, so bad, that literally NXT was saving the WWE's product for a lot of people. The NXT brand, which was the developmental brand for WWE, was literally the best brand that WWE had under the guidance and under the booking of Triple H for a period of time. We're talking about for a couple of years. Hell, NXT under Triple H's booking, the black and gold era of NXT, was some of the best pro wrestling that we've ever seen happen, ever. Randy Orton definitely makes the top 10 as well, man. Whether his career is over or not still to be determined, I still hope to see him come back one day, man. But Randy Orton's definitely one of the all-time greats. To me, he's one of the Mount Rushmore heels in WWE history. His heel work is top tier, man. Another guy who's a multiple-time world champion has done it all. Randy Orton's done it all in WWE, man. Money in the Bank, Royal Rumble wins, WrestleMania main event, US champion, IC champion, world titles. Randy Orton has done everything there is to do. He's probably one of the most accomplished superstars in the company's history, man. Randy Orton is one of the greatest of all time. He's definitely in the top 10. Ooh, so I have two spots left, man. Two spots. And I feel like my last two may be a little controversial. I guess it really just depends who you have in your top 10. But one of my last two superstars is Edge. 
And I feel like Edge may be a little shocky for some people because I don't really hear Edge's name brought up a lot when you talk about top 10 this, top 10 that. Like, Edge is one of the greatest WWE superstars of all time, one of the best heels in the company's history, and he's super accomplished too. His resume speaks for itself. Multiple time tag team champion, WrestleMania main eventer, Royal Rumble winner, first superstar to win the Money in the Bank ladder match, which became one of the biggest things the company's ever had in its history. Multiple time world champion, IC champion, US champion, like Edge has done everything, man. He has done everything from a tag team perspective, mid card, main event scene. Edge has done it all in every level. I feel like Edge is the top 10 WWE superstar of all time. My last WWE superstar, Mike Check, Mike Check, y'all hear me well? I wanna make sure I hear me well because I stand by this statement. I can no longer deny it and nobody can tell me otherwise. It's just how I really feel. I told people about two years ago this guy was going to be a top 10 WWE superstar of all time. And a lot of people said, ah, oh, you know, <laughs> Roman Reigns is a top 10 WWE superstar of all time. What he's doing during this run is just iconic. It's freaking legendary, whether people like it or not. The storyline and everything may not be for you, but the numbers don't lie. Roman Reigns has evolved into something that is truly special. Even before he became the tribal chief and everything, when he was the big dog, he was never really bad as the big dog. He was just structured and put in bad positions to make the fans dislike him so much because the WWE had a vision of what they thought Roman Reigns could be, this over-the-top John Cena 2.0 babyface, and they were trying to push him as that, and that was never going to work for him. The last three years that Roman has been the tribal chief, he has really showed his potential. He showed how great his character work can be. He showed how great his promos have improved. His match quality is great. He puts on good matches. He's shown how good he can be to produce a good storyline because the Bloodline storyline, a lot of people are saying, is the greatest WWE storyline of all time. They're calling it cinema. He's creating history and making history still as we speak. The first superstar to become a world champion for a thousand days since Hulk Hogan did it in the 80s. The 1980s, we're talking decades ago. He's doing something in this era that is unheard of. You will probably never ever see another world champion be like this again, like Roman Reigns has been with the character work and everything, the storyline that he's producing. It's unheard of, especially in this era.